bitch bum. <laughs> what did she say? Damn bugger bitch bum? Ow. Oh, you got me. On game. Hi guys, how's it going? It's Ballistic Menace back with another episode of Dead Island uh, Definitive Edition. This is going to be uh, episode 7. And this episode we're going to be doing the on the air main quest, which is part of the kill time main quest. Uh, we're also going to be doing the lost side quest. Also the uh, fiery drinks continuous quest. And then also the uh, tell me where it hurts side quest. So we got a lot to do. Uh, also, in the episode, we're going to be finding the tape recorder number two, and then also we're going to get we'll the uh, Dio bomb mod. So uh, let's get going with Perna well, here. Really in need help. So uh, talk to them and see what you can do. So yeah, we're back with Perna now. Um, so we've gone a couple levels, and I've uh, used a couple skill points in the meantime too. I went ahead and went down the survival tree. And uh, I did get an extra slot. See, with Perna, she's going to be dealing with blade weapons uh, before she gets her rifles and guns later in the game. But in the meantime, we're going to be using bladed weapons. And unfortunately, the bladed weapons, the durability in them are not very good. So they don't last as long. So I went ahead and picked up another slot just so we can pick up as many knives and cleavers as we can. And then, uh, so I think right now what I want to do is go ahead and upgrade the lock so we can be uh, level two on our lock and then also if you wanted to uh, up her combat if you guys didn't want to be in the survival tree let's see kills gain stamina that would be uh, pretty okay increase damage with melee weapons plus five percent that's somewhat decreased stamina cost when fighting groups of enemy but then also kills gain stamina so that would that would be help and then if you wanted to go down the fury kicks gain additional rage that would be pretty good increases damage by all team members when fury is active that's more of a group effort uh, perk and then kills with modified weapons gain additional rage this is the one I would go with if you wanted to go down your fury tree because if I remember right, if you get your fury up uh, a certain way, Perna gains uh, rage really fast. So you could be just using your rage throughout the really quickly throughout the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and go go to the lock picks and let's go ahead and unlock these to level two. All right, so let's get going. And then what do we have for our inventory here? Uh, we picked up a lot of couple uh, bats here, a lot of um, rare weapons. Oh, I got dangerous brass knuckles here. Oh, level eight. Um, so yeah, like I said, Perno wants to stick with um, bladed weapons, but you um, can only find so many of those. So let's get in here and let's go God talk. Damn it, this is hopeless. Talk to Dominic real quick and uh, start. Hey. I'm Dominic. The, uh, this on piece the air. of shit antenna's too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yeah. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. All right. So let's go talk to Mike here now that we did the um, the gas mission last time, Ashes to Ashes. And he. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them, they burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails. 
if you catch my drift. Okay, no worries. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So if you find uh, five bottles, so you, you give them to him bastards? and oh, he'll make you a Molotov. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles. Okay, don't need to hear him say that every time. Okay, so we got two Molotovs. And we're gonna go down to our workbench here and see if we can modify some weapons here let's see let, uh, so I got twenty three hundred dollars let's go ahead and repair yeah the baseball bats uh, I'm gonna leave for that since I can't even use it yet yeah I'll go ahead and just upgrade these uh, brass knuckles Oh, what's that? Oh, I gotta use up that nailed wooden baton. That's level two. Gotta get rid of that. Let's see here. So let's go to our upgrade. Make sure we don't blow our money too much. Oh, actually I shouldn't have uh, repaired that since I already upgraded the bleeding baseball bat. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that to two. Actually. Maybe do that to one. Yeah, because I'm kind of. Yeah, maybe we can just go ahead and do that to two. Or I mean, up to three. We've got quite a quite a bit of cash, so we can uh, spare a little bit. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh, okay. All we can do is the Ripper mod. Guess I'm out of uh, nails. Uh, right. Actually, before we do that, let's go talk to. Let's go talk to um, Wade over here. See if maybe he has some nails for us. I heard this scourge came from. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another med kit because I think I burned one last behind the scenes. Do have blades? Oh, it looks like I have quite a few of those, and they're quite expensive. Barbed wire, I'm good on. Uh, duct tape, actually, I'm gonna grab a couple more of those because duct tape uh, is used by quite quite a few mods. Glue, probably don't need. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another large battery here, and look up here f for any uh weapons that look like we could use to mod but Out of I'm gonna space. save that probably for Sam B those um, maces or anything like that so it looks like we don't have any uh, looks like we do not have any um, uh, nails unfortunately so uh, let's go ahead and maybe just hit up another ripper mod for this since uh, that should turn it into another uh, into a bladed weapon which is actually what we need so yeah let's go ahead and do that Ah, I really hate it when it does that. It doesn't switch back to the weapon that we had, so. Oh, that's only a level 3. Okay. That was a level 7. Let's just check that out real quick. Yeah. So actually, let's use our... Uh, let's use our level 3 one then. Let's put that down. Down here. And then maybe use put the level seven up here. And it looks like with Perna we unlocked inventory slots for our scroll wheel. Okay, so what do we got here? Revolver, frail skull. Actually, let's go ahead and use the uh, this knife here because if I remember right, we have a, uh, a potential trophy to unlock here. So if we go down here, I think we're really close to the hack and slash, yeah. So I only need to kill 20 more zombies with the bladed weapon. So uh, that'll unlock our hack and slash trophy for all you trophy hunters out there. So let's just stick to that. And uh, maybe I'll check the, uh, check the stats with the, uh, the Ripper mod and see if that actually is the case. 
Oh, one thing I did forget. We need to go talk to Steve real quick. Since uh, he mentioned that uh, Maggie might have went to the lifeguard tower. An alien infection is what it is. Kelly, please. Just call <sighs> and so that's where we're going to be heading to to go get the signal amplifier. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinemoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Sure. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? Make sure to grab a couple, uh, oh, there's another large battery. Grab up the items that you can. Okay, two batteries. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. Can't depend on anyone but ourselves now. All right, so let's head up to the lifeguard tower. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, lighthouse. Come on, open up. Ugh, come on. Whoops. <laughs> I rolled up on the. Uh... Oh, good, okay. I rolled up on one of those benches there. Uh, feeble brass knuckles. We'll hold off on those since those are Logan and uh, Sam B weapons. But yeah, when I find a rare bludgeon weapon with Perna or uh, Jean May, and sometimes you can't help but just grab them. So we're just gonna keep going up this road here. Bugger off, mate! Try to hit as many of these guys as we can. <laughs> and back over anybody you missed. Looks like we got a... Oh, he got me. They can get you through the door, through the windows. Okay. Oh, did I run over him? <laughs> Actually, I do need to jump out and start fighting some people with bladed weapons here. that trophy here. Come on. Get in. Oh, actually. Looked like there was something underneath the... Uh... Oh, there we go. What is that? Feeble homemade cleaver. Uh, um... Let's see. Do, do, do. What do we got? Tiring knife. Maybe we can trade it out for this guy. Oh yeah, definitely. Trade that out. Maybe actually I should have traded it out for one of these uh, bludgeon weapons. Now that I think about it. Um... Oh, I don't want to use up my modifier, even though that's <laughs> technically I should, because that uh, that nailed wooden baton is not going to help us very much. But uh, oh, where's that tire? Yeah, tiring stick. Yeah, let's just hang on to it. Alright, let's get back 
in here. Oh, come on. Slip in the tranny or something? Okay, I want to go fight. Fight these guys instead of run them over for right now. Oh. You want some more? Oh. Give him a good kick, remember that. If we need any car parts. Ooh. Yeah, watch out for the fire. I'm going to go check out this uh, bunker here. If I remember right, there might be a chest up here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yep. Spiteful stick. And we'll go ahead and leave that for Logan or... Sam B. And then it'll probably reset to a bladed weapon for them. <laughs> That's usually how it works. I think we oh. got a live one. Hey, up here. And there's our lifeguard tower or er, lighthouse. <laughs> uh, I think I'll probably die. Oh, that's a good view. There's a good shot right there. Alright. Let's get back there. I can probably jump from there. Evan. Okay. Survivor. <laughs> can't be. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you still alive. James will probably want to talk to you first. He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. Hmm. James like, is at the top of the lighthouse. Looks like you can't go interact with anybody else until you uh, talk to James. Yeah, probably. What do we got here? Okay. Oh. Actually, there's Maggie. Stephen is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that, if you see him? That I miss him and... And I wish you were here with me right now. Okay, so there's that. And Talk to James first. He's the one in charge. Durban. Holy shit, you're alive? Oh, and there's our uh, number two recording right there, so if you always want to go ahead and grab it. I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must say, everything seems... Oddly quiet and deserted here. I'm a little concerned that my informant has been exposed. <sighs> I hope 
he's all right. The door appears to be ajar. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't see a body, though. Mr. Anomo? <laughs> what the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! Feisty. Whoever that was, I think I just killed her. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. She was out of her mind. She tried to bite me for Christ's sake. She must have been 70 years old. <laughs> Someone else is back there. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. Alright. So let's go talk to James here. How the hell here. is it possible you're still alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Absolutely. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? All right, so I think I had to, t uh, so that was uh, knocking on heaven's door. Um, kind of the same thing with the uh, kill time. Looks like you got to help a uh, couple people. Yeah, help people around the lighthouse. Okay. So. And I think that's the only way you can talk to Mick here uh, to do the, um, to tell me where it hurts. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Lucky for you, I have some. I'll do what I can. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. And here's our Dio bomb blueprint. Now we can throw uh, deodorant grenades at uh, zombies. So, all right. I can't get through. Talk to. So okay, so we're gonna head back down to the lifeguard tower right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the rest of these guys' missions in another episode. So, uh, let's go ahead and head down. Actually, uh, I think we're going to swing by the, oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, one, I'm not in America, so we have to get on the left side. And two, you can't get in on the, uh, oh, actually, no, let's go talk to this guy. This guy, or is it you? Yeah. Where the hell did I put that? So you can trade with Javier here, see if we got any, uh... Ooh, here we go. Uh, probably grab a, a bolt. Ooh, I'm really low on money. Scraps, I want that. But I also do want a wristwatch so we can do an exploding meat bait. So let's go ahead and grab that. Still don't have any regular nails. Alrighty. Maybe there's some weapons I can, uh, maybe there's some weapons I can sell. Come on. Oh, you know what? We needed to go talk to Darwin. Actually, let's, uh, yeah, we, actually, I think we do that on another 
another episode according to my notes here. Still got his hand on the. Is that what's making all that noise on my on my car? That hand. <laughs> oh. Oh, push the oh, I really wish I could make that kick to my L2. Actually, why don't I just fight zombies on the way back? Oh, actually, I probably killed them all. So let's go back. And do what I originally thought. Go to the gas station. Oh, yeah, look at all these guys. Look at all that. Got no bloody arms left. Oh, I'm out of, out of gas. Oh, come on, Mike. Push the right buttons here. There. It is. Oh, killed it. Actually, let's do a test here. Can't remember if we did this before. Um, oops, wrong button. So trophies. How many more do we need? Hack and slash. We need ten more zombies. So it's at 240 right now. Let's see if uh, killing a couple of these with the uh, Ripper mod will give us a, a point towards the bladed, or towards using a bladed weapon. Oh, am I using the right one? No, I'm not. Let's use our level 3 one. There we go. That's more like it. So, let's go back to our trophies. Did that give us one? No, it did not. Rats. Okay, so the Ripper mod does not count towards uh, towards a bladed using a bladed weapon. Okay, let's use our tiring homemade cleaver then. Something broke in. Oh, looks like these guys, uh, looks like something broke into the, uh, the gas station here. Oh, it sucks for those guys. Well, we can get in here now. Anything worth anything in here? There we go. So now we can open up the level one actually I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for uh, for Logan and Sam B is there anybody left in here yoohoo where are you We're getting low on bladed weapons. Oh, level three rats. Okay. Is 
Oh, and we did level up. Okay. Oh, doy. There we go. So now we can get our level three lockpick. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So you get some good weapons out of these things. Do yeah, I can't. I can't pass up that really rare. Uh, what do we want to drop? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to toast the nailed wooden baton here. Just can't. Uh, yeah, I was wanting to use this uh, this episode, but uh, looks like I'm not gonna be able to do it unless. <laughs> Unless I keep it, drop it for the tiring stick, but I don't think we're going to do that. So. Alright, so let's keep using our knife here to use up this level one, but it's a, it's a good level one. Actually, maybe we can come back and get my that nailed that nailed stick if we level up or get the trophy we're looking for. Damn bugger bitch bum! <laughs> what did she say? Damn bugger bitch bum? Ow. Oh, you got me. On game, freaking slicing at him. Register the damage, please. Uh, let's go ahead and buy an energy drink. All right, let's get back in here. Kind of stinking now. Trophies. Three more zombies. Anybody up here? Oh, here we go. Rid of you. Oh. Alright, where did oh Oh, here's our last guy. Oh, whoopsie. There we go, hack and slash unlock. So let's go back and get our uh, our nailed bat again and just use that a couple times just to show you the the wooden baton. Oh, did we lose it? Yep. What's this here? Is that where we threw it? Oh wait, no, I think maybe we threw it back over here. Nope. Ah, rats. Looks like it went bye-bye. Unless it fell up high somewhere. Oh, well. We'll find another one. Which it looks exactly like the stick anyway. All right, so let's head back to the uh, lifeguard tower. Whoa. 
Hi. Oh, whiffer. All right, so let's go talk to Steve and and let's uh zip up the lost side quest and then we'll do the um the on the air main quest and the uh let's see that's the only one we have left to do um because that's going to take a while a look. Kelly, and... please just calm down. you found her they're still here fuck it then i'm out of here and for some reason you can't escort him up there he goes and tries to take it on its own, so. All right, so, let's go see. Oh, let's go talk to Wade again. Let's see I heard this he's, scourge came. Has he got any, he's got deck, I think this is the same stuff he had last time. But actually, we can space. make a, uh, Let's go see if we can make a Dio bomb now. So we need to start using our Molotovs and our Dio bombs. Let's see, uh, there we go. So we can make uh, a couple of these. And let's do one more. Nope. Oh. Please tell me those are in my inventory. There we go. Okay, good. We got Dio bombs. All right, so we'll use those. Uh, we'll use those another time. Um, let's see. Let's do the feeble cleaver. Actually, now that we got our hack and slash trophy, let's go ahead and just start using up all these uh, low level. Actually, where was that? Oh, that's 94. Actually, I want to hang on to that. So let's use the cleaver going based on the damage instead of the level okay I think we got it right let's go ahead and just keep using this guy for right now so alrighty guys I think we're gonna leave it here for this episode uh, this was kind of a short one but uh, so we'll get into um, episode 8 uh, here in a little bit alright thanks so much guys thanks for watching